Hi, this is Amar Kapadia, and today I'm going to go through the network slicing proof of concept in the 5G Super Blueprint. Before we tried network slicing, we first had to build out an entire end-to-end -end 5G network. This shows a completely disaggregated cloud-native end-to-end 5G blueprint. On the top right, you see the orchestration components, which were ONAP and MCO from Linux Foundation networking. These components were running in their own Kubernetes cloud in University of New Hampshire. They were connected to a second lab in Montreal over a WAN link, and the SD-WAN components came from a company called Ternium. In the Montreal lab, the cloud layer, or NFVI, was a Kubernetes distribution from Red Hat called OpenShift. On OpenShift, there were several network functions. The 5G core was from Capgemini Engineering and Kaloom, Kaloom being the UPF. The next-gen firewall was from A10, and the RAN was from three companies, Capgemini Engineering, Intel, and GenXCOM. There was also an optional bypass, a GNODE BUE emulator from a company called Rebaka. Next, we will look at how this whole thing was provisioned. So first, we had to connect the two data centers using SD-WAN, as I just mentioned. Then we had to deploy Red Hat OpenShift. We had to install ONAP and MCO on Kubernetes. We had to install Rebaka and the physical network functions, which were the GenXCOM radio and the UPF. Once all of this was done, we could now onboard RAN, core, and next-gen firewall components, create a network service, and orchestrate that onto Red Hat OpenShift. And finally, we were able to create the network slice using ONAP. Next, we'll see how the network slice works from a data plane point of view. So from a data plane point of view, first we created the slice in ONAP, as I just mentioned. We did some custom development for this project. We developed a component called the Network Slice Subnet Management Function, NSSMF, that goes between ONAP and the 5G core. The NSSMF passed on the parameters to the 5G core, now we created two slices. One was the good slice of 5 megabits per second and a bad slice at 2.5 megabits per second. And we were able to initiate two video sessions. One was a 5 megabits per session going through the good slice. The other was a 2.5 megabits per second going through the bad slice. The SLAs were honored by the 5G core and the firewall. And we were able to look at the video on the other side of the firewall. at point number four. So with that, let's look at the demo. We are first going to create the 5G network service, and we are going to do that by going through the GUI of MCO, which is part of the Arna Networks multi-cluster orchestration platform. The first thing we do is we onboard a Kubernetes cluster, in this case, the Red Hat OpenShift cluster in the Kaloom lab. And so this is showing how we are onboarding the cluster and attaching a label. Next, we are going to create a logical cloud, which is just a way to create a logical construct on top of multiple physical clouds for multi-tenancy and ease of use. Next, we are going to create a network service using the 5G core and the next-gen firewall. And what we are doing is we are onboarding the two applications, the the next-gen core or the 5G core with its associated Helm chart and day zero configuration overrides. And we are doing the same with the next-gen firewall where we onboard the Helm chart with the day zero overrides. And this concludes the design phase where we have created the network service. Now we are going to go ahead and instantiate it. And that's what you're seeing here. We are going to go ahead and, and create a runtime instance where uh, we are going to describe where the application should be placed in terms of the intent. Finally, we hit the submit button and we see the status of the services on the GUI. And you can see that here. 
And next we are going to go and look at the pods themselves as they come up. Now we go to the ONAP GUI to do network slicing. The first thing we do is we create a communication service through the CSMF, uh, Communication Service Management uh, Portal. And as you can see, there are lots of parameters that can be input and you go ahead and you input them. We created two slices, of course, a good slice that's five megabits and a bad slice that's 2.5 megabits. Next, you go to the network service management function or the NSMF GUI, which shows the network slice instant that has been selected, which of course can be approved by the user with some overrides. And once this is done, we are going to go ahead and, uh, and push the slices out. <coughs> As you can see, the slice has been successfully created. And uh, as we go ahead and uh, go through the final steps, um, we will now see where the network slice subnet management function or the NSSMF that we created, custom created for this project is talking to the Altran 5G core. And here you see it communicating to the Altran 5G core. And similarly, we are now going to see the NSSMF communicate to the Kalum UPF over NetConf. And when this completes, the slice um, has been created successfully. And we are not going to show you creation of both the slices, but at this point, both the slices were created. And what you see is the good slice or the five megabits per second on top and the results of the bad slice or the 2.5 megabits per second slice at the bottom. You can see that the high bandwidth one or the good slice is much higher quality. It's crisper and the low bandwidth one is a little bit fuzzy and you know, not as good. And this shows you the, the quantitative, qualitative aspect. Now we look at the quantitative aspect where at the top you see the bandwidth of the good slice which goes up to 5 megabits per second and 2.5 megabits for the bad slice which is shown on the lower. Great, now that we have seen the demo, here are some resources in terms of how to get involved. You can learn more, you can read the FAQ, you can join our meetings and get involved and you can also see a behind the scenes video um, from the Montreal lab. Thank you and have a wonderful day.